What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Lace, Lace Life. Wave ain't surf. You do what you want when you pop. Yeah. You do what you want when you pop. You do what you want. Hi guys, so I'm Roy. My, my name is Jeff. Jeff. Just kidding. My name is Angelica. And we are RNA, RNA Kicks. Kicks. All right, guys. So a huge shout out to Mike for putting us on his channel. We really appreciate it. Yes, we're extra thankful for that, that you took the time to look at our sneaker collection and actually reply to our email. Okay guys, and if you wanna check out our channel, just uh, look at the description down below and click on the link to check us out. Okay guys, so our collection is mainly composed of Air Jordan 1s. We have a couple of Adidas here and there. We have running shoes. All right guys, so for this segment of the video, I'm gonna be doing this by myself. These are gonna be my sneakers and then you'll see my grub here whenever we both have the sneaker together. So let's get straight into it. First shoe we got is the NYC one. I actually picked these up in Dallas for like 200 bucks. I'm um, really good detailing NY in the back. Um, NYC right there, as you guys can see on the tongue. Next up, we have the black laser ones, gum bottom, lasering all over the shoe, as you guys can see. Really one of my favorite Air Jordan ones in my collection. Next up are these mellow ones. I've barely un DSTs the other day for a party for my girl that we have for her. Mellow right here. Good shoe. You can't go wrong with the black and gold Air Jordan. All right, guys. So here we have another pair of Air Jordan 1s. This is the Black Toe 1. I actually got on Nike.com for retail. I actually see myself wearing these a lot. The, they are my favorite colors, which are red and black. But it's not the usual bread one. So I do see myself wearing these a lot more. And this is our most recent purchase for a sneaker collection we always buy shoes that we like if we don't like a pair of shoes then we don't buy them no matter what the hype is on the shoe next up we have one of my most worn air jordan ones um, that i've had for a really long time i love these shoes i mean i wore them in high school and i still have them to this day so probably one of my most worn air jordan one next up we have these Russell Westbrook Air Jordan 1s that my girl actually got for me. Um, they're still Diaz. Shout out to Russell Westbrook because today is his birthday. So, happy birthday. Next up, we got these infrared ones that I've been wanting since I was really young. And I actually found them uh, on eBay for like 150 and I ended up copping them there. So, infrared ones. Okay, guys. So, the next pair of shoes we're going to show you guys are the obvious bread ones. We got the 16 pair that just came out. She has her 13 pair, and I have my 2001 pair right here. As you can see, I wore these a lot. They're creased up really badly, but that's why you wear shoes. Next up, we have the shattered backboards. You all guys know about the crazy leather on these things. Um, orange bottom has a shattered backboard on the insole. Um, one of the best ones. I actually un these at Sneaker Con Dallas, so my very first time wearing them. And you guys know if you have a pair of the shattered backboards, we have to get these, the reverse shattered backboards. I would say the original shattered backboards do have better quality, but these nonetheless are still beautiful shoe. I haven't gotten around to wearing them. I'm just waiting for another special occasion to wear these. I actually wore these on Halloween for the colors they have. Um, they're really good leather. It's actually really amazing how these are youth pair and they have really good leather on the toe box. Usually we don't get that kind of leather for the grade school shoes, but I was pretty excited about these. Here we have the countdown pack ones. This is the one that came in the pack. A beautiful black white shoe. You can't go wrong with it. Next up, we do have these Olympic ones. You guys already know this shoe was meant for the Olympics. Um, navy blue red white aglets are gold overall just another beautiful shoe Oof. all right so here we have the air jordan one hairs we both have the most recent ones to come out and i actually have the 2009 pair i haven't worn these been mainly wearing these but a beautiful shoe bugs bunny on the tongue hair on the back great colors on the tongue actually um, they did have a pair of the girl version of these, which was the Lola ones, but I didn't really like that brown color, so I did like these better, and that's why I do have these. All right, guys, so we have the 25th anniversary Air Jordan ones. Uh, remind me a lot of uh, like an aluminum foil. You know, it doesn't have a jump and it has a 25th anniversary, and it also comes with a big briefcase, so it's another good detail with the shoe. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, we have two different pairs of UNC ones. As you guys can tell, mine has a picture on it. Hers has no picture on it. Mine has a Jumpman on it. Hers has a Nike Air on it. 
this shoe I've been having in my collection for a while now. Um, that's why you guys can see it's yellowing, yellowing right there on the Nike swoosh. Next up, we have the Dave White ones, another nice shoe. Um, as you guys can see, there's no check. Elephant print, um, different tongue, 23 on this one. Another really nice shoe to have in my collection. Next up are these Air Jordan ones. I call these the armies because as you guys can see, there's a little rank right here. Um, not Nike Air on it, it does have the Jumpman. Jumpman on the back as well. Another classic shoe that you can't go wrong with having in your collection. All right guys, so here we have the white laser ones as you guys can see. Another shoe that's still DS. This shoe also has the lasers as you guys can see on my black pair. And once I saw this on the shoe, like the white version, I definitely had to pick up two pairs. Um, one I actually caught myself and then my girl actually caught me another one, which you guys will see. This shoe in my collection, I don't know why I have it. I don't know why I bought it. Maybe because it was 30 bucks. Um, but these are the Leroy Smith Air Jordan 1s. Okay, guys, and here we have the Ying Yang 1s. We both had the black pair. We didn't get around to getting the white pair. But another beautiful shoe that, I mean, there's no hype around these. These actually went on sale in a lot of places. But, I mean, it's just a really nice colorway. Simple black, white, um, Nike Air is red. It reminds me a lot of the Supreme t-shirt. Now that we're done with the Air Jordan 1s, we move on to my Air Jordan 4 calves. Um, simple, nice, black orange you know the new york knicks colorway is another nice shoe air jordan 4 that you can't go wrong with having in your collection okay so i forgot to say i actually have one more pair of air jordan ones that i'm actually wearing on my feet and these are the metallic air jordan ones um a really sleeper as well but i mean another colorway that you can't go wrong with nike air on the time just navy blue simple but nice shoe here we have the air jordan for cement, I do own both the 2012 and 2015. What the hell did you just say? It's a 2012 pair. Still have it in really good condition. Minimal yellowing, not very much. Yeah, even the netting is still not as yellow as I've seen other pairs. I'm really wanting to beat this one up before I actually get to wearing that one. And I actually bought like three pairs of these perfect pair of socks that go with the shoe. Okay guys, so here we have a pair of Gamma 11s and a pair of Bread 11s. This is actually the most recent release, um, but I've taken well care of it. Um, it does have a little crease on there, but I mean, that's what the shoes are meant for, to be worn. Um, she has the Gammas. I actually had those two. I used to wear them every day, and I just got rid of them just because I wore them so much, and I beat them up really bad. Mine's are in okay conditions. As you can see, the worst on this is that it's yellowing at the bottom, but since it's a blue, you can't really tell. And I actually like wearing these a lot. I wear these more than any other pair of my shoes. Um, I like these because they don't crease up so badly. You can only see the small line there, but it's the patent leather that allows it not to have, you know, ugly creasing or anything. Next up is the Bordeaux 7s. These are the latest released. I haven't gotten around to wearing them. Um, as you guys know, these are part of like the remastered of the Jordans. I did have the other pair previous to this one with the silver lace tips and all that, but they were beaten up and I had eventually to get rid of them. And I said when these came out, I had to pick them up. All right guys, so here we have two pairs of the International List and the infamous Royal and Bread colorway. Um, this is something different that you don't see in too many people's collection, but I mean, it's a nice colorway and to see it on an International List, a silhouette like this, it's really nice that you can just wear it on any, any day and occasion, just throw on a black shirt. So next up we have my Air Max collection some 95s, some Air Max Plus TNs, and the Air Max 90s. It's good to have an all black pair of shoes in your collection. And here I have two of my all black shoes. And then she has the Air Max 90s. Um, this is actually the ice colorway. I picked these up um, phew, a long time ago. Um, what really got me to buy them is the triangles. Something you don't see in um, shoes. It's just something different. Then it has like that vault, that neon color, which is really nice. And then I have this green that I, n I don't have green on another uh, shoe, so I just decided to pick them up. So here we have some of my runners. These are the Nike Flyknit 3s in this like infrared, black, and blue colorway. Really comfortable shoe. I actually forgot I had these in my collection just because I haven't been wearing these. Um, but from what I can remember, these are really comfortable shoe, and I really, really should start wearing these again. I actually have my own pair of these that he did purchase for me, but they're not with me at the moment. But if you would like to see them or how they look, you can go back to our channel and look at our sneaker collection video. Next up are my basketball shoes. These are the Nike Soldier LeBrons. And 
my Kobe 9 Legacies. Both really good basketball shoes. If I could pick one of the two to play ball in the rest of my life, it'd probably be the Kobe's. So here we have our Adidas NMDs. This is the colorway that I have, is the black and red. She has the predominantly black with the white mint. So um, another comfortable shoe. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable shoe with boost, but it is a comfortable shoe with boost nonetheless. They're actually comfortable for me. The only problem I have with these shoes, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, is that since they're extra wide from the bottom, as you can see right here, that I step on them. Like I step on the sides. It's really weird. He doesn't have that problem, but I have that problem. Maybe I just need to learn how to walk a little better. Okay, so here we have the Adidas Ultra Boost in this gray and black colorway. And then this one is the all black with the white mint. So um, another comfortable shoe with boost. I wouldn't say it's not number one in my list, but it is above the NMDs as far as comfort. I don't own a pair of Ultra Boost, but I do have a pair of Pure Boost. Again, that I don't have with me at the moment. They are very comfortable. They're actually the most comfortable pair of shoes that I own. They're actually pretty beat up now since I do wear them a lot. And they're great shoes. The boost is actually great. All right, guys. So here we have the Adidas EQT 2-3 F15s. Um, another shoe with boost. This is by far the most comfortable sneaker in my collection. And you guys can see it's just boost, a sock, and then just some laces. If I could recommend a sneaker you guys to pick up in my collection. It would be these just because these are so comfortable. All right, guys, so here we have the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 in the V2 Beluga colorway. Um, this is another comfortable shoe in my sneaker collection. I would say these are more comfortable than the Pirate Blacks. Um, only downfall of these is that they do fit tight, but I mean, the boost still takes care of you in my opinion. These are actually very comfortable to my surprise. Um, this is my first pair of Yeezys and I only own these because he bought them, so shout out to him. They actually are very comfortable. All right guys, so for the last sneaker in our collection, we did want to show you guys a shoe that means a lot to us. We had to go through a bunch to get this actually on the shoe. Um, it's a shoe she actually got for me. As you guys know, we're big Dallas Mavericks fans, so, Let's go ahead and show the shoe. All right guys, so here we have a pair of the laser ones. Like I told you, this is my second DS pair. We actually got this sneaker signed by the Dallas Mavericks, um, like uh, Dirk Nowitzki, JJ Barea, Salah Mejri, back when Chalon Parsons was with us. We had to go through a lot to get this uh, shoe signed and it really means a lot to us that we were able to get their signature on the shoe, as you guys can see. And we were able to get Dirk Nowitzki to sign it right here. A couple of other players around here. But shoe means a lot to us just because of what we had to go through to get the signatures on the shoes. And this is a sneaker that will forever be in our collections and we're really happy about having in our collection. So that's the end of our collection. A huge, huge shout out to Mike for featuring us on his channel. If you guys wanna check out our channel, go check us out, we're in the description. Um, if you like our content, then subscribe to us. We're new YouTubers, so if you guys could just check us out. Yes, we're pretty much really appreciative of Mike, you know, letting us do this Lace Life episode for his channel. Um, we really are thankful for that. 